Hello everyone, welcome to the webinar. Today we will be discussing market sentiment, how traders and investors view the outlook of the market. So the webinar aims to help you learn and understand the market sentiment. What is the market sentiment? The market sentiment refers to the overall attitude or emotional tone of investors and the traders in a financial market. It reflects the collective perception and feelings of market participants about the direction of the market, specific assets, or the economy as a whole. Market sentiment can be influenced by a variety of factors, including economic data, news, events, and investor psychology. Market sentiment is essential because it can significantly affect market movements. When a large number of participants share a particular sentiment, it can create self-fulfilling prophecies, causing prices to move in the direction predicted by that sentiment. Its importance. Informed decision-making is the first point we discuss. Investors and traders can make more informed decisions when they are aware of the prevailing market sentiment. This can help them align their strategies with the prevailing sentiment, whether it's bullish or bearish. Risk management. Market sentiment can influence the level of risk in the market. Understanding sentiment can help investors assess the potential for market volatility and adjust their risk management strategies accordingly. Also, it helps in contrarian opportunities. Sometimes the market sentiment can become overly optimistic or pessimistic, leading to asset prices that are overbought or oversold. Recognizing these extreme sentiments can present contrarian opportunities to buy low or sell high. The market timing. Understanding market sentiment can help investors with market timing. They may choose to enter or exit the market based on whether the sentiment is excessively positive or negative. Asset allocation. For long-term investors, knowing market sentiment can guide asset allocation decisions. During periods of high optimism, they may adjust their portfolios to be more defensive, while in bearish sentiment, they may seek growth opportunities. Economic indicators. Market sentiment often reflects and influences economic indicators. By monitoring sentiment, investors can gain insights into the, border, the broader economic outlook. Also, it reduces the herd behavior. Understanding the market sentiment can help investors avoid herd behavior, where everyone rushes to buy or sell at the same time due to a prevailing sentiment. This behavior can lead to bubbles and market crashes. Adaptation. Market sentiment can change rapidly in response to news and events. Investors who stay attuned to shifts in sentiment are better prepared to adapt their strategies as market conditions evolve. Also, we are talking about behavioral finance. Market sentiment is closely related to the field of behavioral finance, which examines how psychological bias and emotions impact financial decision making. Learning about market sentiment can provide insights into behavioral patterns that affect markets. Volatility management. Recognizing changes in, changes in sentiment can help investors and traders manage the market volatility. High sentiment can lead to increased volatility, while a change in sentiment can trigger price reversal. So we discussed the importance. We have to understand that there are two types of market sentiment, the bullish and the bearish. Concerning the bullish, when the market sentiment is bullish, investors are optimistic and have a positive outlook on the market. They believe that prices will rise. There's a willingness to buy or hold assets with the expectation of making profits because the value or the price of those assets is expected to go up. On the other hand, for the bearish sentiment, investors are pessimistic and have a negative outlook on the market. They believe that prices will fall. There's a willingness to sell or short assets in anticipation of declining values. Now, the market sentiment can be driven by various factors. Now we will look at each factor aside and give you a practical example on how to trade 
referring to that factor. The first factor is the economic data, reports on economic indicators as GDP growth, employment figures, inflation rates, and consumer confidence can influence market confidence sentiment. For example, let's consider a scenario in which the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics releases the monthly non farm payroll report, which is the NFP. Was, uh, the NFP was discussed roughly in one of our previous webinars. You can check it on our website by visiting the webinar library. Nonetheless, NFP provides data on the number of jobs added or lost in the U.S. economy. The NFP report is a crucial economic indicator, and market participants closely monitor it because it can have a significant impact on various asset classes, including stocks, bonds, and currencies. So, in case we have a positive NFP, if the NFP report shows a substantial increase in the number of jobs added to the U.S. economy, this could be interpreted as a sign of a robust job market and economic growth. Market sentiment following this positive economic data might be optimistic. Stock markets may rise as investors anticipate increased corporate profits due to higher consumer spending. Bond prices could fall as traders anticipate the Federal Reserve raising interest rates to control potential inflation and the U.S. dollar might strengthen as foreign investors seek higher returns. Traders and investors may express their optimism by buying stocks, selling bonds, and going long on the U.S. dollar. For the negative NFP, if the NFP report reveals a decline in jobs or number below market expectations, it could be seen as a sign of economic weakness. Market sentiment in this case would be pessimistic. The stock market may decline due to concerns about reduced consumer spending and corporate profitability. Bond prices may rise as traders anticipate the Federal Reserve keeping or even lowering the interest rate in order to stimulate the economy, and the US dollar might weaken as investors seek higher yields everywhere. Traders and investors may react by selling stocks, buying bonds, and shorting the US dollar. The second factor is related to news and events. Events like corporate earning releases, geopolitical developments, natural disasters, and government policies can impact how investors perceive the market. For example, now we will see how geopolitical events impacted the price of gold due to a market sentiment. We always mention to you that gold is a safe haven during financial and political crisis. And as you already know, the market closes on Friday and reopens on Monday. So look at the gold price on Friday, October the 6th, before the recent events in the Middle East. The gold closed around 1,832. The war started the next day when the market was closed on Saturday, October the 7th and it escalated during the weekend. So on Monday when the market opened, there's a market sentiment that the gold price will go up because in wars, as we mentioned, it's a safe haven. So a gap was created on the chart and the price of the gold opened at 1,849 on Monday morning. And in the very same day, it kept appreciating to reach 1,863.5 as you can see, clearly see in the figure on the right. Also, the price of gold has been constantly appreciating due to the war. Every news signifying a war escalation pushed the price further up. For instance, last Friday alone, significant news came from the war, pushing the price on that day alone from around 1,868 to 1,932. And the price kept accelerating along with the escalating war and is now above 1,950. So uh, some of you may refer to the current war news and could use those news to trade on the gold. The second factor, or the third factor actually, is the technical analysis. Traders often use technical analysis to gauge market sentiment by studying price charts, volume patterns, and various technical indicators. 
For instance, in a bullish market sentiment that is based on technical analysis, it's created by technical analysis referred to various indicators. For instance, it could be one or the combination of the following. Having an uptrend, having a bullish pattern such as a double bottom, as you can see on the right, having positive signals from indicators such as the RSI, the MACD, etc. Uh, if you go back to our previous courses, we have discussed all these uh, materials, the uptrends, the downtrend, the patterns, and the indicators. But you can see on the right the double bottom. When you see a double bottom shape, you know that the market will reverse and go up. Inversely, in a bearish market sentiment based on a technical analysis, it's created by technical analysis uh, that is one or the combination of the following, having a downtrend, a bearish chart pattern, such as the double top, which is the exact opposite of the double bottom, and having negative signals from indicators, such as the RSI, the MACD, and the others. For example, look at this photo on the gold. You can see the double bottom. How can you uh, trade with it? I'll go briefly through it. You draw the shape, you know it clearly, you affirm it that it came after a downtrend, you draw an arrow from the bottom of the shape to its neck. You copy and paste the same arrow at the end of the first one, and you would reach the target eventually. So in this example, we see a double bottom, and at the same time, we see it below the RSI bouncing from the oversold region. It started going up, intersected with its signal, kept going up, and the distance between the RSI and its signal kept widening. So this provides a very positive market sentiment that is based on technical analysis so that the gold price will go up. The third fact, uh, the last factor to be discussed, and the fourth one is the social media. The rise of social media and online communities has made it easier for investors to share their opinions and influence sentiment through social media platforms. For example, Suppose you wish to trade with gold. The first step is you would have to choose the relevant social media platform, such as Twitter, Reddit, and stock trading forums. You may also uh, refer to other famous platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and others, but you will see more clearly the opinion of the people by using hashtags on Twitter, let's say. So the first step you have to do is choose the relevant platforms. After that, you collect and analyze the data from users' posts and opinions while disregarding spam accounts. It's very important to disregard spam accounts because they are misleading. One of the technical analysis, one of the analysis tactics is to classify the data into positive versus negative, for example. And you can see whether you have more positive data that the market sentiment is positive and vice versa. You have to perform a little comparison to the gold price. For instance, if you, if you see a positive sentiment from the data you collected, you may confirm that sentiment by checking the gold chart and see if the price is appreciating. You may enter a trade, for example, based on a positive sentiment and set your profit target manually or wait for the sentiment to turn negative. Nonetheless, in this case, you have to constantly monitor social media platforms. It's very important to note that market sentiment can be fickle and change rapidly in response to new information and events, making it a challenging factor to predict and trade upon. <laughs> Traders and investors often use a combination of fundamental and technical analysis, as well as understanding of market sentiment to make informed decisions in the financial markets. It's important to note also that market sentiment is just one factor that should be considered in the decision-making process. It should be used in conjunction with other forms of analysis, including fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and others to make a well-rounded investment decision. Additionally, market sentiment is not always accurate and it can be influenced by irrational or emotional factors, so it should be used with caution. Consider when basing your trades on market sentiment, much like any other sort of trade, always do risk management by making a proper capital management, setting a stop loss, 
and setting a take profit. Never enter a trade without setting your stop loss and take profit and always consider the size of the capital you have and what you are trading, what is the size of the trade you are entering or what the commodity, what metal you are trading with and so forth. Also, when trading on based market sentiment, you are taking some sort of a risk. Therefore, we recommend you to employ some trading techniques and strategies. For instance, you may draw strong support and resistance lines to further improve the accuracy of the trade that is based on market sentiment. You may also employ other techniques and tools that we went through in our previous courses. They are all available on our website. And I highly recommend you to go back and see them. Uh, this is basically what we had for today. We hope provide you with new and beneficial information. I would like to thank you for attending. And if you haven't joined our WhatsApp Academy group, I highly recommend you to do so. We send uh, free information. We share all our free courses to that web uh, to that group, and we are receiving a very positive feedback. So if you don't join, you are missing on a lot. I would like to thank you again for attending. And we hope to see you next time.